fam, welcome once again to the Poindexter Lounge. My name is Enosh, aka Enosh Fett, along with the lovely Tiftastic. And of course, back here we've got Logan the Hutt. And over to my side, Landing Covers. And uh, hitting it in the back, we got Isaac Juan Kenobi. That's right. And so here's the thing today is kind of a cool day because I get to officially announce that I am part of a fan film, a Scooby Doo fan animation Ruh -roh. film. You row, 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 like Zoinks, man! But I, I'm not playing. Yeah. Um, I'm not playing those characters. But, uh, <laughs> but I could do those characters. So hey, Jordan, if you need me, man. <laughs> Like zoinks! Like, like we gotta get in the mystery machine, dude! All right, so here's the thing. Uh, we got some Scooby snacks! So here's the thing. Uh, I was contacted uh, by, by a guy named uh, Jordan uh, Farrell and uh, asked if I would audition for this Scooby-Doo uh, fan film called The Backstage Rage. It's kind of like a, a, a redo, a redux, if you will, of, uh, of an old Scooby-Doo uh, episode, but it's done in a totally different animation style. Uh, more, uh, I don't know, how would, you, how would you put it? Almost like a- I would say like Adult Swim. A, like Adult Swim kind of thing. And, cool. it's, and, it's, and it's more kind of grim, a darker take on on the whole Scooby-Doo thing. So it's not, you know, like, you know, the... Thing, it's not the happy 19, like, 50s, 60s, 70s, where yeah. it's just, like, with the Globetrotters. This one is more... <laughs> this nice one reference. seems more... Or Sandy Duncan. There but it's, um, it seems more of, like, it has jump scares. Like, they're, like he's trying to bring it just a little bit more into the now. Yeah, and so... Which is cool. So, um, so I am going to play uh, a character named Mr. McKnight which uh, um, you, I'm sure you'll see more coming out as, uh, as we get more information and as, and, uh, as I'm able to, uh, to do it. I'm, I'm really excited about this because this is just one of those really cool things that I'm really glad that I was asked to do. And uh, I look forward to seeing what the final product is. Now, there's already just kind of sneak peeks and so we're going to take a look at a couple of those sneak peeks with you uh, to give you, to kind of whet your appetite and to kind of um, just kind of get it out there. All right. So this is my official announcement that I am part of Scooby-Doo, the, back, the Backstage Rage. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do uh, some reactions now to some of the videos that are already out there for, uh, for people to see. All right. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Yeah, Joe's. Nice. All right, we're here. The beast with no name. <laughs> it is very adult swim, that's super cool. Hi, Mr. Pietro. Uh, yes, may I help you all? We were wondering if we could ask you a couple of questions. Sure. Come right in. I'll fix up something for you all. One thing. What is it? The dog. Can't come inside. <laughs> no? Where? Nice. Like Mr. Pietro, dude. He's not like the others. I promise he won't cause a ruckus. Uh, very well. But you're responsible for whatever he does. Like, okay, man. He's my dog. With a touch of Elm Street. Yeah. And music. That's kind of cool. It's just kind of got this little creepy factor it to it. It does. Like a darker Scooby, which is kind of cool. So, what is it that you kids want to talk about? Well, you see. So there you go. So that there's one clip. That's kind of cool. One little clip. And, uh... As you can see, it's just a little different. Uh, and so we're going to watch another clip right now because uh, there's a couple of these, uh, these. This is another clip from the Backstage Rage. Have we heard that Jared's missing? Like Jared from Pizza Palace? Dude, what happened? He was on a ship last night and he was gone. All was left was his bike. No puppet that resembled him a bit. Speaking of puppets, what time does the theater close? That's a problem. I couldn't find anything about working hours at the Stram Theater other than a Wikipedia page about its history and all that. <laughs> what history? It opened back in 1898, and the Pietro's puppets group take up most of their history. Charles Stram, 
a young entrepreneur decided to invest in a new performance house under his name Strand's Theater, and after many failed productions in such a short lifetime, childhood friend Joe Pietro brought his puppets along to form Pietro's Puppets. Pietro's Puppets was the most popular and most successful in, yeah, yeah, whatever. Oh, oh my. Ugh, like, after ten years of success, ticket sales had declined, and sooner or later, the group was forced to retire off, and three years later, Joe Pietro was found dead in his home alongside with his puppets. When it came time to retrieve the body. It was gone with only a life-size puppet replica hanging over the ceiling. Legend has it that if you look upon the deep yellow eyes of the puppet, you'll face a curse worse than death itself. Jeez, that's pretty dark. So any info on the current generation? Nope. Crap. <laughs> well, we might as well go back for Mr. Pietro's address. What? Are we seriously going back? No, no way. <laughs> Hey, Shagums! <laughs> what time are we going? Right after <laughs> school. Oh, we should stop by your house for your mom's cookies. <laughs> uh, how about no? Oh, come on, man. Wait, where are you going? What's with you and his mom? She looks good for her age. <laughs> Besides, Shaggy, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> okay. Uh so apparently in this iteration of Scooby Doo, uh Fred has a thing for Shaggy's mom. Ruh -roh. Ruh -roh. There's a whole new twist, right? Mm -hmm. So uh and then finally we're gonna watch one more here and uh another here's another clip from the backstage rage. Mm -hmm. I like just the eyeballs shifting. Like, what, guys? <laughs> Nothing. Sunflower. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut up, you guys! And Scooby, you stick some food to it! Huh? Let's just go. There's the backstage. Hello, Mr. Snyder. It's us, Fred. We're here for Mr. Pietro's address. Is anyone even there? Just try opening the door. It's locked. Well, that was a waste of time. Globetrotters. Want to go to Burger Grits? Good idea, Scoop. Seriously, nice. Shad? Seriously. <laughs> Vibe with the music. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Shadows. Hi, what you doing? Probably some typical mystery stuff. What's the latest case? Counterfeit. Whoa. That's kind of deep. Hey, can we help? We're into mysteries too, and other creepy things, you know. Like, yeah, why not? Wait, what? We can always use an extra pair of hands for any mystery. What? But they're for sitting. Not only are we going to some adult mystery, but I can also get to know you guys more. And a bonus for me, getting to hang out with my shadows. And Scooby-Doo. <laughs> Why is it that you guys always appear out of nowhere? Sorry, Shad, but you're stuck with us. And that'll never change after all. We are your childhood friends. Especially me. I'll never forget the first day I met you. <laughs> uh. Aww. It's a little shaggy. Like Zoinks, it's like a little shaggy.
All right, so there you have it, folks. That is what I am part of. Now, I still yet have to do uh, my parts because uh, I just got the role this last week. Now, I play, I believe, one of those girls' dad, okay. uh, Mr. McKnight. And so uh, uh, there's actually an old episode that, uh, that Jordan sent me that uh, Mr. McKnight played a small portion, but he's assured me that my role it will be much larger uh, in, in this iteration. So, so what do you think, Tiff? I think it's cool. I, I like the, the vibe. I like the music is like very 80s, 90s, mm -hmm. but the animation is very now and like yeah. Adult Swim was what the only way that I can say to, you know, but well, I think yeah. it looks cool and it looks, it's like darker but funnier and it, I just, I like it. I think it's cool. Yeah, so uh, so Jordan told me that uh, in in doing this, that like, you know, he's he's taken some film classes and stuff like mm -hmm. that and so th this, this kind of want to make this kind of old school mm -hmm. uh re you know redo of a, of a scooby-doo episode you know just has has been there and but with newer animation it seems yeah. like it's like a new old school cartoon yeah yeah, yeah. i was gonna say it's, it's kind of like a newer take on it mm -hmm. yeah yeah and so I'm, I'm interested to see how it ends up flowing together at the very end when it's when it's all finally put together and uh you know and 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 what becomes of it and i'm i'm excited to be a part of a project like this i've done some voiceover work i've done voiceover work in the past um actually for your brother uh yeah uh, my brother had a video game that he was doing when he first got out of college himself and he did a very uh mark hamill-esque jokery kind of voice yeah so yeah very fun and he loves doing that kind of stuff. good evening mr finch <laughs> So, hey, look, if you, if you need voiceover yes. work out there, I do voiceover work. So I would be more than happy to talk to you about your project. Uh, Landon, what did you think of this? I like the horror element to it and yeah. the jokes that they made. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of got some funny stuff. I love the fact that you didn't even, like, like Tiff, you, you mentioned the Harlem Globetrotters because that's just like a famous Scooby-Doo yeah. thing, right? And so... Sandy Duncan, like yeah. all the different people they would and bring And so on. there's just like this little reference to, to the that. The little poster that said Harlem Globetrotters. Exactly. Logan, what did you think back there? I want to see this. Yeah, yeah, it's a little, it's just something different, and so um, I like the I like the new take on it, and uh, I'm looking forward to. I'm interested to in the story voice. now. I want to see what happens. That's right. So I'm letting I'm looking forward to lending my voice and to doing my parts uh, for this movie. All right, guys. So, but what did you guys think of this? What what uh, what uh, are your thoughts? Leave your comments down in the comment section, and uh, and also follow us on social media. And of course, I'll put links to to all the cool stuff. They got a Facebook page for this thing, and uh, and I'm sure. That they'd love your support as well jordan i'm sure would love your support and as he puts this fan film together all right so let us know down in the comment section what you think of it like i said full disclosure i am part of it but uh but i think it's it's cool i think it's i think it's a a, a cool take on an yeah. old favorite all right so let us know what you guys think of course remember if you go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you hit that notifications bell and uh and you visit our social media and you leave a comment let us know that you want the figure you can be in the running for the Grand Tiff Tarkin action figure. That's right, a Black Series Star Wars figure that's unique, and uh, and we're going to be giving it away on the 1st, all right? So go ahead and do that. Go do all those things. All those links are down in the comment section, or down in the description, um, along with links to this uh, fan backstage film. Backstage Rage. The Backstage Rage. All right, guys, until next time, my name is Enosh, a.k.a. Enosh Vet, a.k.a. Mr. McKnight. <laughs> Along with Tiftastic or Grand Tiff Tarkin. And Landy Calrissian. And Logan the Hutt. And Isaac Wan Kenobi. That's right. Saying, Roro, we got to go get some Scooby snacks like Zoinks. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye bye.